hey what's up guys welcome back to the channel so in today's video i'll be answering your most popular loan questions so you guys always come to the channel and like ask questions in the comment section about different um parts of like the loan application process and struggles you guys are having so in today's video i'll be answering more questions that you guys have really been asking so let's jump right in so first thing first things first guys um you guys ask some questions i see some new comments and questions that other people have asked before and i've explained in previous videos i will share some of my loan videos in the description box chances are maybe 90 percent probability that i've answered your question in those videos so i'm going to drop some of those videos in the description box we have done a similar q and a before and i answered some of the questions you guys had about applying for loans so i just wanted to point out that this is just a short list of like some of the new questions i've seen that maybe i've not answered before um yeah so check out those videos once you're done watching this one so you can really get your questions answered but keep asking and i'll try to also reply you in the comments so that said let's jump right in so the first question is i'm below 18 likely um you know can i get a can i get a student loan uh, will i be approved and all of that um below 18 below 18 you like you can get student loans you may need um like uh it also depends on whether or not you're international so let's talk about if you are international if you're international your chances are very slim you guys already know that but you can get a loan and i'm guessing this is for undergrad like college you can get a loan you might just need like some consent letter or support letter from your parents or guardian so that's just one thing um that i feel like you need to have um yes and even if you're a citizen or like permanent resident in these countries, you can get a loan as an 18 year old to go to college. Um, but if you're a citizen, there's a different path basically compared to if you were international. If you were a citizen, you may not need all of that like consent and stuff like that because people take loans here to go to college. Um, but in some cases to get a good rate and all of that, you may still need some support or like um co-signer and all of that usually your parents for as an international student you likely would need that i doubt anyone wants to give you loans as an 18 year old as an international student without some like consent letter or something or co-signing of something with your guardian um or your or your parents so just something to pay attention to but i would say um I'll say like check out my recent video that I did about Empower Finance. Uh, they are a great option for you as an undergrad student, whether you're international or not. I'll put their link in the description box. Prodigy doesn't support um, undergrad, so I'm assuming you're going for undergrad. So Prodigy may not work, but definitely check out Empower Finance. Okay, second question no cash in my account um you know can i apply for loans and will i get it basically i don't have a lot of savings can i apply for these loans and what are my chances the point is um if your loan is approved fine <laughs> you can apply if you don't have cash in your account you just need to account for a hundred percent of your tuition and living expenses so what does that mean if your tuition for the two years or four years you be in the school, if the total tuition is fifty is hundred thousand dollars, and your living expenses as calculated by the school is another fifty thousand dollars, that's a total of a hundred and fifty thousand dollars as your total cost of attendance. When you apply for a loan, they would want to see how you cover the entire one fifty thousand dollars. So option A is you're applying for the whole uh, $150,000 uh, of loan. You're applying for 150K loans. That is one option. But if you're not applying for a 150K loan, you need to show how you would be paying back, uh, how you would pay the balance. Because the loan company also wants to know that they're not just giving you $30,000 and you will end up not going to school, if that makes sense to you. So basically, you may need to show some um, sponsorship letter from your 
um, parent, friend, um, family friend, you know, partner. I've shared about sponsorship letters as a great opportunity for those of you that don't have a lot of like financial support. So I would say, um, yes, you can apply for a loan and get it without having any cash in your account, but you need to show how you would, you know, account for the balance. So if the loan is for 50% of the cost of attendance, you need to show how you pay the balance 50%. So you can do this if you don't have cash by getting a sponsorship letter from a, from someone close to you and get their bank statements as well. They need to have that money in their bank or in their investment account. But whatever the balance you need, they need to have it in their account and they need to write you a sponsorship letter. I shared a sample sponsorship letter in a previous video. I share all about it. So I'll drop a link in the description box um, for you to check that out as well. So next question is, can I apply from my home country? I have answered this so many times and you guys still probably don't believe or you just keep asking. The answer is yes, absolutely. You can apply from your home country. I did all my loan applications from Lagos, Nigeria. Yes, you can apply from your home country. That is the idea. You don't have to already be in your, you, you don't have to already be at your destination to apply for um, a loan. So this is not a problem. You can absolutely apply from your home country. Um, I did it. That's still how it works. Apply from anywhere. I have a link that takes you to Prodigy's site in the description box. You see where they ask you, like what country do you live in and all of that. And I did a whole walk through with you on how to apply so countries that's not a problem just apply from anywhere and then the next one is i don't have um uh, yeah can i get a loan for living expenses the answer is yes the answer is yes <laughs> but you just for many loan providers they just don't want to offer you only living expenses that's kind of why i said like the answer is yes <laughs> so the answer is yes but um usually loan providers prefer to offer you your tuition and some living expenses it's rare for them to just want to give you a loan for your living expenses i feel like it's rare but the answer is yes it's possible right so and usually the what the, the max any loan company will offer you is your uh, total cost of attendance which is your tuition plus living expenses but usually they don't want to just offer you um, living expenses so if you have a 100k in total tuition and 100k in living expenses and you already got full tuition uh, scholarship for your to cover your tuition fees and now you need someone to pay 100k for living expenses it's very rare for you to find a loan provider that would want to do that especially if you're international so it's a yes but um a yes with a <laughs> might not be easy that's the point all right next question um i don't have uh, an admission offer yet can i apply no you have to wait till you have an offer because like it's not student loans if you don't have a student admit like an admission offer so you must apply to a school get the admission offer before you can apply for a loan if not um no that doesn't work part of the application process they need you to upload your admission letter so yeah that's it next question is um my school isn't uh listed um so i can apply this person is referring to prodigy finance because i usually drop their link in the pro in the description box and prodigy only works with a specific set of schools and this person is saying my school is enlisted as one of the schools that prodigy funds the thing is if your school is not on the list then prodigy can't offer you a loan because they work with specific um you know schools so if your school or your program isn't listed, Prodigy cannot offer you loan. So what you need to do um, is also just drop the name of the school and like the program in the comment section. Um, I plan to like fill some form like rights to Prodigy if there's a lot of interest for specific um, programs. So if you guys have been trying Prodigy 
and um, you don't find your school on their list just put the school in the description box or schools and the program if there's a lot of interest i currently work with prodigy and they basically share the form that i can feel if there's a lot there's a lot of interest for specific schools so just drop that in the comment section and i'll look through this video to see if there's something that can be done on that i guess <laughs> all right um prodigy uh so someone is saying prodigy funds only u.s schools i don't know where you guys get wrong information but this is one of those this is purely wrong information there is a link that takes you straight to prodigy site in my description box just click that link just look around prodigy fund schools in europe in different parts of the world and they fund schools in the u.s so just make sure you get your information right and just throw away incorrect information basically but click the link in my description box takes you straight to prodigy site and look around for yourself um, you will see the fund outside of the u.s prodigy is not actually a u.s company prodigy is based in europe i hope you guys know that so a lot of you just get this wrong information and you say with so much authority in the comment section and i usually don't know what to do but the point is prodigy is not even a u.s company so there's no way they're sponsoring only u.s students right they are based in europe i think they are based in london like their headquarters but they have offices everywhere now point is they fund schools in other parts of the world all right hope you found today's video helpful if you did um please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe but if you have more questions about like student loans and stuff like that just let me know in the comment section and i will get to it and answer and maybe do another video answering your questions hope you found today's video helpful give it a thumbs up subscribe like whatever and i'll see you in my next video